What's going on guys? RIP are here using that max power return on YouTube and today we are back with GPC Season 3. The team builder was yesterday so today we've got the battle. Now uh, this week of course if you are not aware we are against Bob the founder of the league and last year's undefeated champion undefeated for 11 straight games coming into this week. So we really have to get some stuff done here. So first off, I look at his team and he did bring pretty much everything I had anticipated, but I always I also have to um I always have to prepare for the other threats on the team. Like uh, for example, on the team builder I didn't run enough speed on me and Xiao to with Scarf to outspeed plus one Haxorus or uh, plus one max speed Haxorus or uh, Haxorus with a choice scarf at max speed. Although no one runs that set, I'm just being prepared for that. Bob is known for being probably the most innovative person in the league. Um, so there's that. Anyways, we look across and we see his team. He's got Skarmory, Manaphy, Murkrow, uh, Venusaur, which we call it, Rhyperior, and Alakazam. I expected Murkrow, especially because of the fact that I love to use Meloetta in this format. Uh, and just, I've had her on my team every, uh, every season so far. So I really expect them to bring like a pursuit trap, or it's also it's also threatening with a uh, sucker punch. I'm not sure. I don't know. It doesn't get knockoff, but um, it also has coverage options because I did also look up if it got steel wing, so I don't have a free switch in for Diancie in the slightest. And uh, yeah, so Rhyperion and Skarmory are gonna be pretty annoying <laughs> from the get go, but I feel like I I felt like I could uh, play around them. So uh, yeah, before we get into this, don't forget to check out my opponent Bob. His uh, links will be in the description below. AKA call me nine one one. Uh, Zargs, whatever you guys call him. So let's go ahead and get straight into this. Uh, hit that replay button. All right, so he go, he's gonna leave the Skarmory. I'm gonna leave Diancie here because I felt like I really need to Mega Evolve turn one. So I'm gonna go ahead and protect here, uh, just in case the Iron Heads. I was expecting Stealth Rock possibly, just so uh, in case I decide to switch out. But you know, he, I'm more than likely gonna protect. So he's gonna Stealth Rock here. Very smart because I don't really have anything to hit him with. I'm gonna miss a Focus Blast here. Which is gonna suck, but he's gonna he's gonna get toxic on me, so I'm already a little bit behind going into this turn. So I'm gonna get my own rocks up here just because and he's gonna go ahead and go for roost just to roost off damage, try to um, keep me from to it KOing him or just keep me out in general. So I'm gonna go into the sweep in here. I wanna either roar him out or just get a burn or something. As the iron heads me for practically no damage, I am Chesno Berry, as you guys should have seen from the team builder. He'll be in the top right and description as well. So I go for Scald here, it's not gonna do anything to his Venusaur. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch out here into my Crobat, as it is a 100% solid switch in. Provided he does bring specific coverage, he decides to roar me out, which is this was very frightening for me. Um, now here, I do have Psychic on this Diancy. Uh, let me go back a turn. I complete. I covered up the pause button uh, last turn. Sorry about that. So yeah, uh, he roars me out of Crobat. <laughs> Sorry about that. Again, one second. So he's gonna roar me out, and he's gonna bring me into Diancy. So this puts me in a bad position because both of his stab moves are super effective to Diancy. Um, and if I don't want to risk switching back into Crobat and then getting roared out again, because then I'm at 26%, leaving me with 1% on the next switch. So I have to play very carefully now. I do a sidekick on this Diancie, as I showed yesterday, but I don't have enough damage on him right now to the point where I can kill him. I think if he's not running special defense EVs or very little, uh, it's a two KO at this range. It's like 68% max or something like that. So. I'm definitely in a really bad position here. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch out into my Meloetta here because I am specially defensive. Well, not specially defensive, I'm vested with, um, and I can do a lot of things. So here, rather than go for Psychic, I knew, I had a feeling he would switch out. I wanted to know if he would go into either Murkrow or Skarmory. Skarmory was definitely safer for him um, as it could take a hit. Murkrow is not going to live uh, the next hit, but Christina here, I wanted to go for Psychic, or I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to go for Psychic on his Venusaur, get as much damage as possible, or KO it in general, but the fact that he has uh, both Skarmory and his, um, his, whatchamacallit, Murkrow still around, uh, were really, really bad for me as far as clicking Psychic here, so what I thought he would do was try to bait me into Psychic and go into his Murkrow, Pursuit Trap Christina, and then that would be... Pretty, it wouldn't be game over, but I would be in a very, very bad spot without my Loretta around. So I'm going to go ahead and click Thunderbolt here, as it is a safer play. If he stays in with Venu, I don't really mind that. I'm going to click T-Bolt again, just in case. Um, 
I thought he might switch into right period possibly. I do also have energy ball, but he does just, he did tell me afterwards that he's Rindo Berry, so I would have been I wouldn't have been in a great position there either. So I go for Psychic here. I did not expect him to have knockoff. I kind of thought he might live that, but he goes for knockoff, knocks on my assault vest, and I'm like, alright, I'm just gonna go for their safety bolt. Uh just in case he wants to use that for Rock Spotter later or something like that. So he's going to go to Alakazam here. I'm going to let him take out Meloetta. She doesn't really have much more use for me anymore as I don't really need... I lost my vest and I'm at 15%. There's really no point. So I go into uh, Crobat here. I said Alakazam. Wow. I'm um, just going to go ahead and get these rocks off the field just so I have more switch-ins. Uh, what we're going to do here is... Wait, what did I do? Did I switch? Oh, he went for Brave Bird. Straight up. I did not realize that he was Scarfed here. I was just like... I didn't know. I, I didn't know until later on, but like, I should have known right there because he was outspeeding Crobat. That was just stupid on my part. But I do U turn out of this right period, as I didn't want to. I didn't want to risk roosting and having him go into right period. So I'm gonna go into Lando here. Now I didn't make a great play here. I probably should just click. Uh, well, wait. What did I do? Oh, I did click Focus Blast. Never mind. I'm the best. <laughs> Let me stop. But yeah. So. Uh, Alakazam is faster than me and will kill me, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch out as he's gonna go up and s go ahead and set up light screen. So I thought he was dual screens at this point, which uh, would have been really scary to be honest. So he goes into Manaphy here. I'm gonna get Tailwind up just in case, uh, just to be a little bit faster than everybody else. So I go into my uh, <laughs> I go into my Crobat here as he energy balls. It doesn't do anything to me. Uh, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and defog to get the screen away as he goes for the tail. Oh no, it probably screams. Excuse me. Bad. I'm bad. <laughs> what I should have done here is gone for Brave Bird and sacked, but instead I went for Roost and got him to plus three because his tail glow. I should have sacked Crowback, gone straight for the Brave Bird, and then taken myself out. But I did think that I would need it for Alakazam later, but he did end up having tail glow, which put a little bit of a delay on my plans here. So. I'm gonna go ahead and go into my Landorus here because I could have put enough uh, either damage on it to the point where I didn't really need to do anything else, or I'm gonna pause because I am <laughs> I'm not talking fast enough. But yeah, um, I wanted to put Manaphy in range of Diancie later on, or to just kill it outright with my land or just kill it outright with Landorus. Although the HP it was at, I I think it was like a one percent chance to kill, if not zero. Um, but yeah, so Mad if he would have lived and he wants to keep it as healthy as possible. Uh, so what I'm gonna go what I do is I went for Earth Power as he switched into Murkrow, so yeah. Uh, and he go I this is where I realized he was scarfed. I didn't realize earlier, I don't know why. I went for rocks here because I wanted to make sure Murkrow can't switch in again and I wanted to see if I could get Diancie in. But no, this Murkrow is packing that steel wing. I'm gonna go into me and shout here, basically reveal that I too am scarfed and can play that game. U-turn is a guaranteed KO there. Me and U-turn out and go into my Suicune here. I've got Suicune Diancie and Me and Shao left. Me and Shao cleans up. I just need to make sure I don't play stupid. So what I'm gonna do is switch out of Suicune, <laughs> out of away from Manaphy. And he goes for Energy Ball, Me and Shao. I know he can't kill me with anything. If he goes for Skull, that wouldn't be the greatest option for him because if I stay in, there's not much. So I'm gonna go for High Jump Kick, which crits. He had a 1% chance of living that if I didn't crit, so uh, I want to say crit didn't matter, but I have also, I've been cheated out of 6%, so <laughs> let's stop right there. So he's going to Earthquake me there, 42%, because I don't have like max physical defense investments. I think I really did screw up my EVs yesterday. I had 192 off or something like that, but I go for the rest here. It doesn't turn out to matter, which is awesome. It is really awesome, so I reward him out. Um, I thought this was a misplay at the time, but I was like, you know what? Nah, 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 I'm good. So I'm gonna go, go, ah, I'm gonna go for Scald here, uh, as it's gonna do decent damage to Alex. Well, okay, it's gonna do nothing, but it does keep pressure on him, and Psyshock is gonna do literally nothing to my Suicune, so I'm gonna roar him out again. Uh, see what I can do this right period while he's out here. Uh, so I go for Scald. 50% did half behind the screen, and he gets burned, which is unfortunate. I mean... To be honest, I could have still won the game because of the fact that Miyashao was scarfed, uh, even without the burn. But it's just so unfortunate because it turns it turns a 2-0 into a 3-0 basically, and it, it every point counts here. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this Alakazam with two scalds, and that's gonna be the game. <laughs> A little bit one percent on Suicune too, to add insult to injury. So yeah, I definitely would have gone down with Suicune. I would have finished. Uh, I would have went. 2-0 instead of 3-0 uh, against his team here. But yeah, very good battle. 
uh, I enjoyed it. It was definitely down to the wire. It's the first time I've beat Bob, and uh, the last couple times I played him, you know, stupid stuff happened. <laughs> let me stop. Like, uh, let me see, turn, not turn one. Uh, last week of week one, uh, I was just going for MVP because I was already out of the race. Uh, so I had Altria out, and I was going to sleep, and then he um, he had rain up with Kabutops, and he flinched me in water with Waterfall, and I lost. So I came one point shy of tying, two points of winning, and he had two mons left, which I would have killed the other one too. But I'm not gonna live in the past like that. We are we won this one 3-0, and we are 2-0 going into week three with a nine differential. So we sit atop, of, we sit alone atop our conference, and. Uh, Life goes on. All right, so I do hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please hit that like button for me. If you did, please check out Bob and the GBC channels and links at channels and links. Channels and Twitters will be linked in the description below. And I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, until we meet again, all right, peace out. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.